Hi there, me again. Um, today we're going to have a look in AutoCAD and we're going to have a look at a question that somebody asked me about editing attributes that are in a block once you've actually put the block into the drawing. So first of all let's open up AutoCAD and we're going to just insert a block and I've already got this block in the drawing. Um, so I click on that and it pops the block in. Now it's asking me for some information about the attributes. Um, I'm just going to go through and just put in the default values there. Um, if you're using one of the routines I've written, they'll be filled in for you. Now, if we want to actually move one of the attributes around, what we first need to do is unlock it, because they're locked by default. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to deselect the block and just hover over the attribute and right-click on it. In fact, let's go ahead and select the block first, right-click on it, and we go up here, and we're going to choose the block editor to open up the actual editor so now when I click on the attribute itself I just get the attribute rather than getting the whole block now if I right click here and say properties it's going to give me the properties just for that attribute not for the whole block so the properties here and what we're looking for is actually quite well hidden because it's right down the bottom and it says lock position click on there and specify no. This will now enable us to actually move the position of that particular attribute once we've inserted the block. Close the block editor, you do want to save the changes and that's now saved for all of the instances of this block within the drawing which are taken from within the drawing. If you um, have brought in an external block reference you haven't changed the settings on that external block. Um, of course you could unlock them when you're creating the block in the first place um, if this is something that you want to do frequently. But what this enables us to do now is if I just delete that and insert the same block again, put it in, again just use the default settings. Now when I click on it you'll notice I get grips here to move the entire block but in addition to that I get a grip here to move the position of the text just for that one attribute that I unlocked. What I can also do, of course, is right click on the attribute and say edit attribute. And what this now lets me do is do things like control the rotation of the attribute itself and of course the alignment, text, properties and everything else. So if I change the size down to uh, 1.5, hopefully that's not too small. Uh, let's have a look and see what that is. No, that's OK. So click OK and that's applied it. So we've actually edited the attribute itself and for example we could position it outside of the block if we so desire. If I now go and insert the same block again it doesn't have the same properties as this one here, it has the standard default properties but once more if I select it you'll notice that I do have the option to move that one attribute that I made editable. Okay, I hope people have found that useful. I'm the Adobe Guy, and thank you for listening.